It's no secret that Donald Trump is having a terrible week. You have Joe Biden announcing that he's going to step out of the race, Kamala Harris being coronated as the new nominee. That has led to Donald Trump's absolute unraveling. And on top of all of that, George Conway steps in with his anti-psychopath pack to rub salt in the wound. Donald Trump has never, ever been right in the head. And an <laughs> And then they announced there was no buys, no. Take a look at the oranges, the oranges of the investigation. Venezuela, the, uh, it's, uh, if you have a windmill anywhere near your house, they say the noise causes cancer. At all. Uh, all. Our army manned the air. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airport. Criminal. They have voter ID. They have ID on everything. You buy a loaf of bread, you have ID. The first non-incumbent. The kidney has a very special place in the heart. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. <laughs> injection inside or, or almost a cleaning. Learn more at psychopack.org. Donald Trump's problem is he's just nuts. I'll let others who know him explain. He's a populist authoritarian narcissist. He is a consummate narcissist. And he goes and he starts to say these wacky things. That's what scares everybody about him. Our country can't be a therapy session for a troubled man like this. John Kelly sought guidance from a book in which 27 mental health professionals warned that Donald Trump was psychologically unfit. This man is a pathological liar, a narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. Trump is not simply eccentric or odd in a good way. He's unwell, mentally unwell, in a dangerous way. Trump is a man who cares about nothing but himself. Not you, not the country, not the laws and constitution that a president swears to faithfully execute. And it also means that Trump is a pathological liar and that he lacks any moral conscience or capacity for remorse. These are the psychological characteristics of dangerous cult leaders and dictators. They shouldn't be the traits of an American president. And it's not the first time that an ad has touched on his cognitive fitness. The American dream is dead. They say a wall is medieval. Well, so is a wheel. I see the disinfectant by injection inside, almost a cleaning. As you take a shower, the water doesn't come out. So what do you do? You just stand there longer or you take a shower longer? Because my hair, I don't know about you, but it has to be perfect. There's nobody that understands the horror of nuclear better than me. I'm a very stable genius. Hold still, Donnie. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. Well, we do. Bing, 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 bing. The things that Donald Trump would use to attack Joe Biden up until this point are now being turned around on him, and it is delicious to watch. The focus that they wanted to put on uh, mental issues while speaking, an inability to keep a train of thought, the uh, transposing of names, suddenly that's a thing that people are focusing on, but there's only one candidate where it makes sense to focus on it, and it's Donald Trump. His inability to walk normally or to climb stairs suddenly doesn't look great when the person on the other side of the aisle, Kamala Harris, doesn't have any problems like that, they decided to make the focus of this race on cognitive and physical fitness and age, and they're suddenly wondering if maybe that was the best strategy. One of the great memories of all time. James Webb. I don't remember the names. I don't remember the name. Victor Orban. Did ever, anyone ever hear of him? He's the leader of Turkey. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley is in charge of security. Three years lady, ladies, lady. How about that? Did you actually have a one-on-one -on -one with Comey then? Not much, not even that I remember. I like Bicinos. We have languages coming into our country. We have nobody that even speaks those languages. They're truly foreign languages. Nobody speaks them. Saudi Arabia and Russia will repeat you. Oh. I have a really good memory. Your next wife was a woman by the name of Marla Maples. That's right. Do you recall what years you were married to Ms. Maples? Um, it's called like up here and it's called memory and it's called other things. So you don't remember saying you have one of the best memories? I, I don't remember that. And Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war, Terry. You heard that, nuclear. We have to win in November or we're not going to have Pennsylvania. They'll change the name. And I talked to Putin. A lot. Did you, ask, did, you ask, did, did you ask him that? I don't remember that. I, you know, I saw that this morning. I don't remember asking him that question. I have a good memory and all that stuff, like a great memory. For 20 years, they were fighting ISIS. I defeated ISIS in four weeks. And we did with Obama. 
We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. I'm not cognitively. And you know what? When I am, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be the first people. I know my people, you'll say, all right, Trump, you did a good job. Get the hell out of here. That's it. That is a man who is incapable of avoiding criminal liability, a man who is wholly unfit for office, and, who a, man, and a man who, at the very least, ought to think twice before accusing others of cognitive decline. We're in the very early days of this, but it really does feel like this race has been blown wide open. I mean, look at the ways that they are trying to pivot to attack Harris. They have pointed out that she is um, a woman and she is black and also she's a black woman. All very devastating attacks. Uh, by the way, did you hear that she laughed? And while we're on that subject, and they find this to be very devastating, many people have raised the question, and I've never thought of it myself, have we ever seen Donald Trump laugh? Like, actually full-on laugh, to be taken over by mirth and joy? I don't think we have. And they're really raising these questions by focusing so much on the fact that Kamala Harris has occasionally chuckled. Like Donald Trump is a person that does not seem to be capable of true joy. That I think is something that we should be talking about. And obviously we're in the very early phases of this. The initial polls look good and those are polls that are coming out before Harris has really had an opportunity to campaign. We'll see what her ads look like and what her stump speeches look like and will they actually have a debate. So things could certainly turn back in a direction that will help Donald Trump. But at least as of right now, we are worlds away from where this race was just a month ago. And honestly, you love to see it. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?